Hi everybody, Kyle here from Kyle's DIY Aquatics. In this tutorial we're going to talk about flame polishing. Make it look see-through, like just like this here. See, obviously it comes see-through, but I'm talking about the edges. Now, as we talked about before, we smoothed the edges out, got all the uh, saw marks out of it, so now it should have just little, um, just more or less little scratches. That's about it. None of this big marks or saw, saw marks or nothing. But um, what we're going to do is make it look like that, that edge. So what you're going to need to do is, is obviously, I've got, it doesn't look like there's any finger marks there, but there actually is pretty smudged just there. So what I've done was is, on the edges, where I've done a bit of flame polishing there, but what I've done is, where the edges are, I've gone along and just took all the fingerprints off because when you actually do what the edge you want to do when you actually do hit it with the flame you don't want any fingerprints on the sides or anything like that being imprinted from the flame so it's always a good choice to clean the glass on the side that you're going to do now as you can see I've done a bit of flame polishing now already compared to there so you can already see the difference so what we're going to do is Get our propane torch, turn it on, just light it, and that's it. Now we're going to flame polish it. So, all you do, sorry, people, all you do is get your legs in like that there, just on either side, get it straight, and let's just turn this flame down a tad bit. And that's about there. Now you just want to come across it and just hold it. And come across like that. That's it. Ooh, that bit caught on fire, but you just don't want it to bubble. This is the bubbles will get stuck. We don't want to form air bubbles, but we don't want to form air bubbles. We just want a nice smooth edge. Uh, just go along like so and just so you know we sort of want to hold it see the flame as you can see that bit uh, there the tip that's where it's all this where you want to put it but bring it out to about oh, about there and then hit the acrylic say about just a couple of centimeters before the flame and like I'll say, you just go across like this, and that's pretty much how you flame polish. Yeah, that's pretty much how you flame polish. Just come along like that. And you can see you. Yeah. Oh, you feel the heat from that, so. That's just how you flame polish it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll show you the the end result. Um, Sam, can you come and hold this here? Thank you. Now we're just going to go ahead and finish it off. So we'll just come across, come up, like that there. Yeah, that's nice now. As you can see, I'm not really spending too much time in one area. The reason being is I don't want to form air bubbles and have air bubbles get stuck in it. So I'm just doing it enough so, so it catches on fire but doesn't on fire fire. And as you can see there, it's nice to slow along there. Like that. Little bits catch on fire here and there, but that's, that's nothing to really worry about as long as it doesn't you know, catch a blaze. That's when you're sort of in trouble. But, uh, let's just have a reek. Oh, sorry, let's just have a good couple look at this. 
so sort of now way. Yeah. It stretches out. Now, see there, I've created an air bubble there. It's not too bad to notice, but I shouldn't have done it that long. So, like I said, you don't want to spend too much time on the one spot because it will, yeah. And I had it a bit too close, so I wasn't paying attention, but there we go. It's coming along, we'll get there very shortly. Sorry that's taking so long folks. Let's have a look. Now, yeah, as you can see, it's coming up nicely compared to this side here. Let's have a look. That side there versus that side there. As you can see, you're starting to see fraud. Now, it's not completely finished for flame polishing. This side's a bit better. I'll let that cool down and I'll come back to it. But um, that's more or less like your flame polish, as you can see. And then compared to that side, there. So you get this side here, and you get that side there. Very nice, very nice. That's more or less how you, there's a good bit there. That's more or less how you flame polish. And yeah, we'll finish up the rest of the tank really soon.